Square Enix has long been at the forefront of creating incredible installments of role-playing games. Not only have they paved the way in the early years of console gaming, but they continue to set new standards for the genre. Now, with global gaming being more prominent and our world getting ever smaller as we become more connected, classic games are given a chance to shine and reach new audiences. Secret of Mana helped shape my early gaming years, and sadly, at the time it seemed that the series would wither, much like the mana tree it features, with little hope of its roots reaching the rest of the world. Luckily, after waiting nearly 25 years, Trials of Mana is available and has been given the remake treatment for fans and newcomers to experience. I'm Thomas, and this is a Nintendad review of Trials of Mana from Square Enix for the Nintendo Switch. The mana tree is dying. Rulers and usurpers across the land are vying for power and seek to take advantage of the failing protector. A small band of adventurers must come together to save the mana tree, find the mana sword, and restore balance to the world. It's not the most original story, but its presentation is unique. Instead of following a linear plot, you can select one of six heroes from the start. Depending on the two additional companions you select to accompany you, you'll experience a different narrative from alternate perspectives. I really enjoyed this approach in Trials of Mana and the flexibility from the outset. This is a game that can be played multiple times and new tidbits will be uncovered depending on your party. Even if you don't take the opportunity to replay as each character, your paths still intersect and you can catch a glimpse of everyone's motivation. Trials of Mana is an action RPG with fluid combat and a slew of skills and spells at your disposal. Since you run with a party of three, you can seamlessly swap between which character you control to adjust to the battle at hand. Enemies are visible on the map, so you won't be caught off guard by random encounters. The opponents have a great deal of variety and are well balanced to your level throughout the game. As you traverse the world, you'll find many interesting locales with beautiful backdrops. There's a fair amount to explore without it ever feeling too overwhelming. One thing I missed was the multiplayer feature. Though my kids happily watched as I dashed through bright forests while lunging at angry rabbits, it would have been nice to take them on the journey with me and let them swing their own sword. Protection. Trials of Mana has a robust leveling system with several class options down the line. Getting to know multiple characters and testing them in combat was a nice feature. As you can see, the characters and the graphics are stunning. There's a lot of variety and a lot of color. Though the majority of the graphics are gorgeous, there are frequent times when the backgrounds render a tad late or hardly at all, leaving a slightly unpolished look. The audio has some ups and downs as well. The music tracks are upbeat and sound like the mana games I remember. You can choose from the remastered tracks or the original. On the downside, I grew impatient with a lot of the dialogue as some of the voice acting isn't high quality or the pacing is quite slow. Off to slay some dragons. The fearsome beast known as the Dragon Lord is the strongest of its kind. Don't worry, His Highness and I won't lose. Trials of Mana isn't without its flaws, but it's still an exciting journey with engaging combat and a wondrous world to explore. The level of engagement had me hooked and I easily looked past some of the graphical shortfalls and slow dialogue. 
Once the action starts, it's fast, fluid, and fun. And there's plenty of action to be found. Completing the game opens up a new story and you can always play with a different team. Overall, Trials of Mana left me feeling nostalgic while giving me a fresh look at its world. It's definitely an adventure worth embarking on. I give Trials of Mana a Nintendad score of 4 out of 5. This has been another Nintendad review. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have an adventurous day.